What's up guys? Another freaking rainy day. It's killing me. But I think we're supposed to have good weather this week, which is sick. But if you guys haven't checked out yesterday's video, just end this video right now and go check it out. Like go go watch it. Okay, now that you've watched yesterday's video, seeing the Z all stands out coming into this today is oh. Oh, it's such a good sight. This is so exciting. This is so motivating. Like Z starting to look together. She's soon to be ready to drive. Don't want to take it out. I haven't wanted to take it out, obviously, because it's been so crappy out. Um, but we will soon. And oh, does that look? It looks fire. Still a few buttoning up. I have to basically put the whole interior back together because I had to rip apart the whole interior to put the lights and the coilovers in and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go and do that today. I'll probably do it off camera because no one wants to see me just put that shit back together. But... Oh my god, I think the rear's lowered overnight. What the hell? That is a little much, but sure looks freaking sick. I still got to play with the front fitment a lot. It's giving me some issues. The camera's all off, the height's all off, and who knows. But <sighs> I'm so pumped, guys. Like, ah, oh, you guys are. Like, look how sick that is. So exciting. But today, I want to take, if I can, I want to take the tires off the. How do, how do I pronounce this? I always forget how to pronounce this. Intellis, in, Intellis, Intellesis, Intellesis, that's what it is, Intellesis. I wanna take the tires off the Intellesis. Uh, these two, my front tires are actually mint, uh, considering. And these are the perfect size for the rears on here. And I'm gonna need them soon. So we're gonna take those off, keep those. Probably give these two homie because uh, he's too big for anything I got. So once we take the tires off, then we could test it on the BMW. Really excited to see how they look on here. Though the lips are small, the styling really matches the Euro really, really well. And I really do want to see this on 18s because I've been seeing some pictures of these on 18s. And DJ's coming up soon, and we're gonna get work. We'll get we're gonna get started on all our usual nonsense. But uh, but I'm gonna take some time now, clean the garage, do all that good stuff, and uh, then get to work. And I got DJ a little surprise today. Now my homies, my homies help me out so much, so I love to help them out whenever I can. DJ helps me out so much. His vape actually broke, and you, you guys know DJ's an average vapor, so I felt so I felt the need to go out. And my buddy Jay actually works at Silver City Vape Shop down in Longford. A super cool place, super cool dude. Hooked me up with a uh, a new vape for DJ, so we're gonna give them this today, and he should be pretty excited. So that'd be really cool. Already just showed up. What's up, RJ? What's up, Jimmy? He uh, he actually just oh. got me. Okay, blinding himself. He just got me a gift. Thank you, RJ. You're welcome. A I nice see you struggling with the wires all the time. Best investment, right there. That's awesome. So this is one of those wire strippers where you just kind of like slip it over and just squeeze and it strips it like instantly. Yeah. Uh, I stay using crappy wire strippers and for someone who does a lot of wiring stuff, this, this is, is a must. Yeah, definitely a must have tool. All right, whip it out. It's Donald. What up? What's up, homie? What's good? What is this? Merry Christmas. Oh my God. What is this? Open it up, Donald. Dun, 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 dun. Hit you with the new new. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. <laughs> yeah, it's thank okay. You. We got the hookup, of course. Really? Yeah, shout out Silver City Vape in Longford. Oh, man. Thank you. Sweet. Silver City? Silver City. Hey, check them out. Never yeah, there, so I'm Donald not. has the same one. I know he loves it, but it broke and it's stuck on 220. 220, which I guess that's probably going to, that just burns your lungs off, so. You got to like. <laughs> <laughs> Got the freshie. Oh boy. DJ loves the the banner look on these cars. The hot, he, he's inspired by the HB Logic one, so wanted to try it out himself. So he ordered himself some matte black vinyl off of eBay. Yeah. So we're gonna give this attempt today. And uh, essentially, even though, so the whole time I thought this was arched. Like it doesn't look arched, the bottom of it. It's actually not at all. It's just it's the shape. Like come over here. Yeah, until you come here. So it's honestly just the shape of the windshield that gives it the nice arch. And I was worried about making that arch because obviously that wouldn't be easy. So I think what we're gonna do is lay it down and just trim it around the trim and go from there. And then we can overlay whatever white sticker Donald wants to make on top of it so it pops because I have a vinyl cutter, so. I like the visor look. I'm mainly doing it because like the sun, obviously. Do people do it because, right? It's like a sun. Tree. Yeah, and Donald, he's a tiny man, so this this will not affect his view <laughs> at all. You do not need to pull your trim. Donald wants to just so it looks perfect, but there'll be no worries. So obviously, first step to doing this would be to clean your damn windshield. All right, so we have the edges marked off and we're gonna hope that it's even. 
and when we lay it, it makes the line straight for us. Obviously the vinyl can kind of bend, so hopefully it comes out smooth. I give Roberto and Jack props for this one because that came out stupid even. All right, let's uh, try not to screw it up. Just lay it. If it's messed up, we can fix it. So until we push it down, that's when it's gonna be all. Can't go back now, boys. Did you maybe want to use the tool that you took out specifically for doing what you're doing? They sent that with it. Oh. Let me try it though. Oh! Work! God damn it. Oh, dude, what do you think it should say? Over the top here? Yeah. Bukaki. Dr. Lollipop. Actually came out really, really well. I'm really happy. Uh, I don't know why it says doctor on it, but that works. Dr. Lollipop, you dingus. True. Not bad. Definitely a fun mod for 10 bucks. You really can't beat it. Add some cleanliness to it. We're gonna make a sticker. Let's see what you guys think the sticker should say. Be appropriate. All right, so me and Jimmy just went to Home Depot. Got the biggest thing of Bondo I could get. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was 15 bucks. Yeah, it was really? 15 bucks. 15 bucks. AutoZone and like advanced, they have like the little bottles, uh, things like that. And that's like 15 alone. DJ, do you have any idea what you're doing right now? Of course. I don't. Make it smooth. Then apply. And then smooth. And then apply. <laughs> <laughs> so until, we have to wait to the homies down on the block show up because uh, they got the tire machine to dismount these because these will not fit with these beefy tires on. So in the meantime, I'm going to be putting this monstrosity back together because I've had it apart for quite a long time now and uh, it's a mess. So let's uh, let's get to it. <laughs> How is it, Jimmy? It's good. Just everything's a mess, and it's a big puzzle that I hate. So we're getting there. But like I say, I see. I feel like I mention this all the time. Greatest tool I own. <laughs> I love this thing so much. So most of it's all back together. We lost it. Still need this centerpiece. Put the rug back down, but it's starting to look like the thing a car. That sucks about the two plus two is the plastics don't go all the way into the base of the trunk. That everything's actually risen. It's like a platform. Yeah, like a platform where the spare tire, because uh, with the spare spare tire and like the foam pieces, and we took them out. So now it's gonna like sink. So I might have to rig something up with some blocks of foam or something. But it's unfortunate. <laughs> well, I gotta. Wow, it's dark over here. All right, I gotta make a platform to raise the carpet. But one last thing I gotta do now. But I don't know if I mentioned it or not. I I, I think I did. But I ordered lights for the shop finally. They're on their way. It's about to get dummy bright in here and it's gonna be lit, literally lit. And my footage is gonna be way better because it's so dark in here and it makes my camera quality look like ass. Put that work. It's a little big. It'll do. I'll get light. I got plenty of them light. I'm not gonna get wood shavings in this fucking Mondo. It's all right. All the, oh, the chain's out. Used, oh, wow. They used to You're going hard, aren't you? They used to build cars. Oh. Oh, that's the pre cum. So I think with Bondo, it's what a uh, golf ball size of Bondo versus a pea size of hardener. Or if you're being a little eager, if you're being a little eager, you can add a little bit more hardener. Because no one likes Bondo that takes three years to freaking dry. I don't even know where he's putting this. It looks so smooth to me. No, down here is bad. Yeah, if you say so. Here's a hole here. Well, hurry up before it hardens. Boy, I got time. You all might need to help me a little like over here. There's like a Super big, like low spot. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> Motherfucker, bitch! I'm so bad at that. So I convinced Jimmy to put the hood on the 300. He told me to stop being a dote ass bitch and, uh, I think, I mean, I don't, sure, let's put it on. Let's I think it'll tie everything like together and like. Like a knot. Like a knot, yeah. I don't know the bolts are though. Oh, they're probably in the hood. Oh uh, yeah, duh. Maybe, I don't know if I was being smart or not. We'll find out. Was Jimmy being smart? I think not. Nah. Nah, that's a, I'm gonna say silly hood, you dota. <laughs> this is like one of my prized possessions. Like if you ask me what like I'm proud of owning, a metal Sylvia hood. <laughs> that is only semi-duffed. 
Who would do this? Dude, it wasn't by choice. Who would do that? Someone put those, you know those hot rod, like, pool style foot pins that no one should ever put on their car? Yeah. That's what was on there. Don't ever do that, guys. Unless especially you have, if like, you don't need, especially yeah. if you don't Nothing's worse need than going to. to a show and seeing some dude that has a hood latch with hood pins. <laughs> it's like... Especially on a hood this, like, rare. Don't drop it. Be a shame. One of the cool things about these hoods is they're aluminum. So they weigh literally nothing. Woo! Donald was right. That looks good. Uh, I'm always I mean, right. The, the car is filthy. It's absolutely... I can't wait to wash this damn thing. Look, I wiped the hood down real quick. I forgot how much flake is actually in this. Isn't that insane? That looks filthy on camera. This thing gets a nice buff and wax. It's a, it's a cool color. <clears throat> Even though I am replacing this bumper, I did like the typical cheap garage door lip on that Z because I built it when I was broke. It actually looks pretty good. And uh, let me know if you guys would want to see me do that to the black one just as a little DIY. Make it look nice for a couple, couple days. It is like hella refreshing to see, but the homies are finally down here so we can take the tires off the Intelessis and test fit them on the Beamer. The pressure of the tire is like reseeing the <laughs> speed. Miserable. A fitting tire? Not easy. Really? That was sucked. One more to go. This is the only way I can get this to work. It's the only way to get underneath it because the wheel, the tire fits the rim so good. Hell yeah. Sketchy. First little bit. Prime technique. Just like that. Last one, guys. These have been probably the most handy ass tires I've ever pulled in my life. So, uh, that was such a pain in the ass. Holy crap. Uh, that was not fun. So, now it is time to test fit them on the E36. Now, unfortunately, the barrels are welded together, which basically they do is they take the lip and the barrel and they weld them together in Japan. I don't know, so they don't leak, if, they don't, if they're stronger or what, but usually, it's stupid. it's stupid. They all do it. So some companies will cut the lips off the barrels and get lips, so you can just get both. So resizing these might be a little expensive if we go with that route, but. Ready for this? No, I'm ready. even use a little bit of a spacer. I'm, I'm pretty stoked right now. That's very surprising. I know I could put a way bigger spacer on actually. Look how perfect. Boy. Is that a hit? No, no it, it gets close, but dude, look at the lip right now. That's That's sick. not bad at all. This thing looks so pieced together. Hey. The rears look really good though. The fronts need to be bigger. This might hit the coil over. Oh yeah, that hits the coil over nice. Oh fuck. It needs a, it needs a more negative offset, so it has to be like right, right there. All right, cool. I still love these wheels. I think the faces are really cool, but the size is what would you call it? Boof. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I think these look sick. I do love these a lot. They're not like hot in your. They're not like crazy in your face. Like oh my god, but they're like super super clean looking, and they fit really really well. The, at least the two rears do. I have the the two wider ones on, and if these were if these wheels were square, I'd probably rock them, like, because that does look really good. But the as you guys saw, the front ones just too tiny. They need a bigger lip, and since they're welded, it would cost a little bit more than I care to make them fit on here, just to make them fit. But they're still worth it for another build. Get that camera out of my face. All right, so uh, as you guys remember, a couple episodes uh, episodes ago, uh, my clutch master was like duffed because I missed the <laughs> missed the uh, clip. As he pisses, look at the poor fluid. <laughs> what a mess, Donald. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah spread it around the garage. Keep walking. Fuck it. <laughs> okay. So I, I I was missing the clamp that ready? went here. Ready, so ready, I ready, used. Ready? Damn it! Really? That's a mess. Might as well get it, all, well get it all out in one spot. Good thing Young Tuck's not here. As I was saying, <laughs> I was missing the pin, so I used uh, 
I would not do this. Recommend it. I use like a nut. But he didn't and a use a bolt. nylon. He didn't use a nylon nut. That's the problem. Yeah. You could get away with a bolt and a nylon nut and just like lock it loosely in place. But uh, that's not what happened. So it messed up the threads in here and Shorty got duffed. bent the fork. So. And so, yeah. The freshie. The freshie. Definitely a job for a boy with little hands. Arm is cramping so bad. Are right, your knees weak? Arms are heavy. Is there vomit on your sweater already? Mom's forgetting. DJ, I'm so torn. No. Okay, so they're two-piece wheels. But I did I did some researching, and I've seen a few techniques that you could actually separate the barrels from the lips by yourself pretty easily, which means I would just need to relip them. Now But it's super sketch. It's not it's not sketch at all. No. What I could do is I could take the rear lips, put them on the front, which is like a nice, a nice clean size, and put some bigger lips in the rear, have a staggered set, make it look good, and it looks clean. I think that looks great. It's not like in your face, holy like, crap, wow, this like, thing is like, but it's clean. It's but it's, a clean it's a clean, nice, high-end looking fitment. Or so, what do you guys think I should do? Do that. It'd probably cost me if I just get two new lips. It'd probably only cost me like three hundred bucks. To do it and that's like not powder coating the face is getting new hardware or anything just keep them how are with bigger lips cleaning them up uh, or just sucking it up and spending like 800 bucks on a set of two blitz and just having a set of blitz for this thing because the blitz do look hot but these do look really really clean not gonna lie or I could just save these and wait for my next chassis that I'll probably get and uh, whip them nice and big for that chassis or if we go felony form over on this thing, then we can put some big lips all around. Yeah, you can just go full sand and just go nuts with it. So that's a lot of options. But in order to do that, that's the catch. These wheels, they look gorgeous. They just don't look like, yo, that's crazy, that's nuts. Like, oh, like Blitz. Like Blitz are a little different. They yeah, look, they look good. Like hot, hot, like hot boy ass wheels. I don't know. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just rambling into a camera right now because I'm torn because I do love these wheels. And it looks good. Well, I, I want to hear yours opinion because that matters greatly to me. So they're gonna say blitzes, I, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> they're all gonna be like to send it with blitzes. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let's hear it. All right, guys. So nothing too crazy today. Um, did the little sticker thing. Put the Z hat back together in the rear and test fitted the wheels that I am so stuck over. But that's about it. Um, been really out of lack of parts, like I've been saying for a while now. And we've been really, really just need to get this done. Still need B-Hall, and of course, B-Hall is a day job and he works a lot, and so his time is valuable, so we can't rush that. But starting tomorrow, I'm actually throwing together a huge part list for Njuku. Uh, gonna get a bunch of parts, finally start to speedball everything again. I've been holding off a lot of money. I've been holding off on spending a lot the past couple weeks, as you guys could probably tell, just because I've been trying to figure out what where I wanted to go with some of the builds and I have it figured out and I really want to focus on the S13 right now and I really want to get that together because right now that's the most important car to me because that's the car I'll be driving for the season. So hopefully put our order in tomorrow. We'll, we'll start getting a lot of stuff by the end of the week and we can really, really go hard and get the S13 together. And of course the BMW is going to slowly come together. Luckily these parts are pretty cheap. It's more the fact of me just trying to find them in a reasonable distance because I freaking hate wasting the whole day just to drive and buy one part. So that's about it. That's about it. I'm gonna stop rambling now. Thank you guys for watching. And you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And of DJ, course. have a good night.